Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Cheryl. And for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Our lesson for today is all about defining and describing a proportion. To go further to our lesson, let's study first this problem. Our family consumes 10 bowls of vegetables and 8 bowls of fruits every day. How many bowls of vegetables can we consume if we consume 20 bowls of fruits? To answer our problem, let's illustrate it using a proportion. For every 10 bowls of vegetables, correspond to 8 bowls of fruits. So, how many bowls of vegetables? If we can consume 20 bowls of fruits. To get the answer, let's multiply the extremes and the meats. So, 10 times 20 is equal to 200. 8 times x is equal to 8x. To get the value of x or our vegetables, we're going to divide 8 both sides of the equation. So, 8x divided by 8 is equal to x and 200 divided by 8 is equal to 25. Therefore, we can consume 25 balls of vegetables. When two ratios are equivalent, they represent a proportion. A proportion can be written in two ways in fraction and column forms. Both are read as 10 is to 8 as 25 is to 20. Terms involving proportions 10 is to 8 as 25 is to 20. In its proportion, the outer terms the first and the last terms are called the extremes. The inner terms, second and the third terms, are called the meats. To know if the two ratios are proportion, multiply the means and the extremes. If their products are equal, then the two ratios are proportion. So 10 is to 8 as 25 is to 20. Let's multiply the extremes and the means. 10 times 20 is equal to 8 times 25. 10 times 20 is equal to 200 as 8 times 25 is equal to 200 also. Therefore, 10 is to 8 as 25 is to 20 our proportion. We can use also the cross product rule to check if the two ratios are proportion. So let's cross multiply. 10 times 20 is equal to 8 times 25. 10 times 20 is equal to 200 as 8 times 25 is equal to 200 also. Therefore, the cross products are equal, hence, it is a proportion. Tell yes if the two ratios form a proportion and no if not. First number, 2 is to 8 as 5 is to 10. Are these two ratios form a proportion? Yes or no? Alright. The answer is no. Why? Because if we're going to multiply the extremes and the means, 2 times 10 is equal to 8 times 5. 2 times 10 is equal to 20 is equal to 8 times 5 is equal to 40. So, 20 is not equal to 40. Therefore, these two ratios are not proportion. Next number. 6 is to 10 as 3 is to 5. Yes or no? 
All right, it is yes. Six times five is equal to thirty, as ten times three is equal to thirty. Next number, five is to two is equal to fifteen is to six. What is our answer? Yes or no? All right, it is yes. Five times six is equal to thirty. As 2 times 15 is equal to 30 also. Thus, 5 is to 2 and 15 is to 6 are proportion. Next number, 7 is to 4 as 3 is to 8. Yes or no? Alright, it is no. Why? 7 times 8 is equal to 56. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 56 is not equal to 12. So, these two ratios are not proportion. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching our video.